Yeah. <laughs> Come on, buddy. My name's Jim Nessie with Cold-Blooded Creatures. I brought Bubba the alligator down here over a year ago, and Bubba was a rescue back in 2006. I brought him in, he was 32 inches long. He currently measures over 11 feet, weighs more than 300 pounds, and he's absolutely amazing. He's world famous. He's done the Oprah show twice. He's done the Leno show. He's a Regis and Kelly, Animal Planet, Extra, HGTV, Fox News, WGN, Windy City Live, and National Geographics. Here at Kawaiachobi, what I've been doing with Bubba is introducing the public to him, and when people come to Kawaiachobi, they get to come into the enclosure. I have a tool, we feed Bubba, and they see how gentle he is, and how he's got such great manners. And like I tell everybody, he's got better manners than the average person at the Thanksgiving table. And he very gently takes the food from us, and that's what I'm trying to do is show another side. Because what I'd like to do, when I, as I'm down here, I want to start doing My parties and events, and we want to make sure that, you know, Kawaiachobi, you know, tries to survive by, you know, getting donations and, and keep trying to push and go better and better. So all the groups we bring down here, they get a chance. I, nobody's pressured to do anything, but they can come in and feed them. And in fact, it's funny, sometimes on an event, uh, we were brushing Bubba's teeth and we'd have a toothbrush and, we'd brush, and he'd sit there like this, smiling, and we'd brush his teeth and everybody would go, come on, that's not even possible. My whole mission is about conservation through education. Showing another side of animals that people never get a chance to see. Now Bubba, believe it or not, is a service therapy gator. He works with special needs kids. He walks up and sits with them so they can pet them. I know it's hard to believe and guess what? He gives kids rides and nobody can believe it. And folks, I couldn't make him bite if I tried. That's how gentle he is. Like I said, I raised him from a rescue. I did animal rescue in Illinois for 44 years. I didn't sell animals, it was all about education. That was my whole, my, that was the whole thing that made me push it hard and do what I do. Because I wanted people to learn and see another side of animals you never get a chance to see. And uh, as we all know folks, animals are disappearing across the planet. And that's all I wanna do is show people that all the secrets to everything is in nature. Nature holds all the secrets. I've been telling people for years that gators don't get cancer. Their blood kills the most tenacious infections on the planet. We should be studying them every minute. They're absolutely incredible. And folks, we had a breakthrough and I was so powerful, I was crying. I had a, I had a breakthrough with an autistic boy, little Sammy didn't speak. His mom walked up with him. We were down at Navy Pier in Chicago. I had Bubba sitting up on some tables. And what happened, folks, was I said, no problem. So Sammy came up and started petting Bubba. About 45 minutes later, Sammy held Bubba's front foot. And folks, Sammy starts talking. His mom started crying. And so did I. I could not believe for how powerful it was and watching the mom and this little boy, and I ran into him 10 years later. Sammy was now this big. He, I, his mom walked up to me first and said, you probably won't remember me. I was down at Navy Pier with a little boy. I go, Sammy. She goes, oh my God, you remembered. I said, oh my God, how could I forget? At that moment, like I said, Sammy was this big now, walked up to me, put his hand out and said, Jim, how you doing? How's Bubba?